we're proud to be here with you all. We call you all Mavis's change makers. And we're all here to showcase her good work. Oh, we're getting comments too. Hi, everybody. Ready to enjoy the show. This is great. So uh, we'll give you a little rundown. This is going to be an evening full of runway of live music, clearly. by We've already got Levy going. We've got another little live music segment to go with go with it later. Mavis is giving away four raffles. Yep. Yep. Four raffles. So there's a lot of opportunities to win her goods. Uh, we'll have video highlights. There's even a special surprise one that nobody on this panel has even seen yet. So that's going to be a first for all of us. We're going to do a one one on one interview with Mavis, at which point, please, Type in your questions to the chat box as they come up and Jess and I will field them. Get to know the woman behind the brand. And um, at the end, we're gonna have a nice little send off that we'll keep as a little surprise till later, but stick it out until the end, you won't regret it. Uh, next up, I'm gonna do the special surprise video uh, by Ma Beast. I just wanna give this a little shout out. Um, I was fortunate to see this before the event and it's like making my heart go like this. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Oceans, rivers, mountains. These are the things we set out to preserve when creating Mavis by Herrera. Each product we make transforms plastic pollution into elegant and ethical handmade fashion. We are a revolution of environment conscious, independent minded souls ready to impact the world. Take care of nature and nature takes care of you. Mavis by Herrera, inspire and be inspired. I have been so inspired by Mavis. Take care of nature and she will take care of you. It's truly an honor to be here. Before we introduce the woman of the hour, I want to give you a little bit of background on Mavis. She has inspired us to implement our shared vision of taking care of the environment. And she weaves this idea, literally weaves, into her handbags and to everything else that she does as an entrepreneur, as a photographer as a cyclist, a solo traveler, a family member, and a friend. She enjoys living life with purpose, with a passion to inspire change through sustainability and regenerative practices. When she's not at work, you can find her exploring unknown places. As a solo traveler, Mavis has been fortunate enough to travel around the world, which made her realize how much waste and pollution we as humans are creating. And she started this brand because she needed to be a part of the plastic pollution solution. Today, the Mavis by Herrera makes beautiful and ethical handbags from recycled and upcycled materials. They also empower women through entrepreneurship in developing countries and advocate for kids in need. Mavis by Herrera's mission and vision is to empower a better tomorrow and to become the most elegant, the most sustainable, and the most ethical handbag in the world and we can get behind that. So with that, the change maker of the hour, Mavis. Uh, I'm so excited to be here. Yay, it's Mavis Barrera one year anniversary. Hello everyone. Um, thank you so much for being here. It's, it's our one year, this is because of you, we exist. And I'm so excited. I just wanna welcome you. We're gonna have so much fun, I promise and let's celebrate. It's a year that we're celebrating, a year of being sustainable, of creating a product that's good for the environment. It's also good for our community. And for a year of being a change makers and a year of saying, yes, we will take care of nature because nature will take care of us. And a year of reducing plastic pollution. So thank you so much. This is amazing. And I'm gonna share with you a little video so let's jump there. Hi everyone, my name is Carla Coppell, founder of Karemi Cosmetics. And I wanna congratulate Mavis by Herrera on their first anniversary. Yay! Thank you Mavis, thank you for creating such a beautiful brand that it's not only 
so great for our environment and our earth, but also it's very important to me since you are helping those indigenous women in Mexico, since I am Mexican myself. So I want to congratulate you and thank you. Thank you, Mavis Bayarera. We love you at Karemi Cosmetics. Hi, Mavis. I just want to say congratulations on one year of business to you and your change makers. And you're such an inspiration and I'm proud of you and so grateful to be in your network. Everybody. I just want to take a moment to congratulate Mavis by Herrera for this one year anniversary that you're having. I am so happy and so proud for everything that you have created. As you can see, I love, 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 love everything that I have gotten from you. I am so excited to keep watching you grow and to keep, you know, sharing your amazing products uh, everywhere I go. People ask about them. And they are really wonderful, wonderful purses and products. Um, here I am just celebrating you and appreciating you and feeling so happy for this one year anniversary. My name is Crystal Balk and I am founder of Supple Marketing Solutions. I'm here today because I'm good friends with Mavis and I am beyond proud of her for building Mavis by Herrera and helping not only the environment, but also helping women violence in Mexico. This truly demonstrates the type of person that she is by not just building an empire in her business, but helping people outside of the country, and that's helping women in general. I just want to say, Mavis, you have been a blessing in the skies for my life, and we have definitely hit it off and done so many great things together, and this is only the beginning. I am so proud of you, and congr congratulations for your one-year anniversary. <laughs> I am here, and I'm also very thankful because Mavis is a transparent, genuine person that truly cares for what she believes in. And you can definitely see that on her. So I know she's gonna go far. I know this is only the first year, but she has killed it in the first year and she's been doing so many great things. So Mavi, I'm proud of you. Keep, do keep doing a fantastic job and see you soon. So thanks everyone. So let's get the party started. Why not? Let's start our first raffle. Woo! I'm so excited. Should we pick the first winner? Laurel, just, uh, what do you think? Let's do it, first winner, woo! First winner? Okay, let's decide which gift. Let's start, let's start with our Victoria bag. Okay. This is a Victoria bag, and it's called Victoria because everyone has a victory inside of us, and it's, our power to bring it outside and become victorious. That's why I call this a Victoria bag. It's a crossbody bag. So this will go, I get so excited. All right, right, right. cause we need to pick them. Come on. Priscilla so, <laughs> Juarez. So this, this is the winner of Priscilla Suarez. She's here from San Diego. Hey. Oh. Priscilla, you just won. <laughs> Yay. Priscilla from San Diego. Okay, you got, you got another victory to celebrate. Yeah. Let's do our vivacious. This was the bag that is supposed to be a bucket bag. It turned out, it wasn't like hidden. And I love her so much how it came out. You have no idea. Like I, I'm attached to this bag because it gave me a lot of hits. Um, it's really hard to wear with plastic. Uh, you can't fold it. So this bag, it took seven months to make it because, but I love her. So it's a handbag and it also comes with a cross body. It's a Vivacious bag. So let's get Oh my God, so many tickets. Okay, this one. <gasps> From New York, but it's Skippy. I can't, I don't know if I can pronounce her um, last name. I'm gonna try for her Skippy. Janutos. She is, a, she's an amazing woman. I, she bought one of the less pollution bags and 
she uh, she's into sustainability. So hey, New York, congratulations for this game. Okay, those are gone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a teacher. So we got the yeah. teachers. Woo! Okay. You match. Yeah, I match. So this is part, <gasps> just getting a t-shirt again, but it's Gabby from New York. <laughs> wow, she's getting a lot of treats. Back to back. Another teacher. Four prizes? We're doing four, why not? Oh. It's my anniversary, we can throw <laughs> a house. <laughs> Oh yeah, Patty wants it, Carla wants one, Crystal wants Brian one. Brian Jackson from San Diego. Ooh. Got a t-shirt. Brian, Yay. congrats. This is for Brian. Now let's do the bottle. No, just kidding. This is oh, I was, I was just going to say that. I'm like, is that bottle part of it? Wait, in, in the bag. <laughs> Can, this is another Victoria bag. It's on the little black pearl version. Okay. This is fun, guys. So I love this. <laughs> we do too. <laughs> Claudia Uno. You should have oh! a Victoria mini bag. Woohoo! Uno's being represented. <laughs> represented. Claudia Uno. Uno family, All everyone. Right. We're gonna take a break for now, like this enough for ruffles. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is for Claudia. Yeah. All and right, let's get the party going. Are you gonna do another congrats video? Yes, I have one very special. Was the sound right. okay? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it sounds great. I'm gonna mute myself. All right. From Uno Sound, congratulations, Mavis, on one fantastic year. It's an amazing milestone, and we look forward to watching your company grow. Hola, Mavis Vallarera, somos tus padres. Estamos muy orgullosos de ti por todo tu trabajo y esfuerzo, no solamente en la venta de las bolsas, sino todo lo que hay detrás de ti, en apoyo al medio ambiente y el apoyo y soporte a las demás personas. Hi, we are Mavis parents, and we are very proud one year, it's easy to say, but it's a long, long way and very hard to do many things that you do for the people and, pray and to change the world. The world. Congratulations, your first year, and keep going, working, do the good job. Bye, bye. So yeah, that's it. Those were my parents. They're amazing and I admire them. <laughs> That is, that is so nice. It's so like sweet. Thanks, so mom and dad. Sad. All right, back to you, girls. Now it's time for the interview. <laughs> we need you back, mommies. <laughs> I'm like, no. am I at the right spot? Um, so we have heard a little bit from Mavis and a lot of people who have supported her so far in her journey. And we are going to have a one-on-one -on -one interview now with Mavis and learn more about you and your brand. And as we said um, at the beginning, please enter questions in the chat box and we'll be reviewing those and ask Mavis your questions and she's gonna have to answer them on the spot. So it's a full tell-all. <laughs> be nice guys, be nice. I like to keep it private. <laughs> <laughs> So I will say, Mavis, you have had at least one request for you to open the bottle behind you. So um, don't no worry, rush. I promise I will finish that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first, um, tell us what is Mavis by Herrera? So Mavis by Herrera, Mavis by Herrera is the future of fashion. Is the is for a better tomorrow. It represents the strong, powerful human being that, that decides to say, yes, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go for change and I'm gonna create way. It doesn't wait for someone else to do it because they know that they're so powerful and strong 
they have the power to do it and they go for it and do it. That's Mami's by Herrera. So to follow that up, who is Mavis Carolina Herrera? Mavis Carolina Herrera, it's, it's me. <laughs> No, Mavis Carolina Herrera, it's, it's a person who's passionate about, about life, who decided to live a life with a meaningful purpose, and it choose to do good in this world no matter what. Um, believes that in order to, say, to reduce hate, you bring love, and you react with love, and no matter what happens, you don't give up. You keep going because when you're doing the right thing, nothing can stop you and there's no wrong. That's Mavis. Aww, that's so inspirational. And so for the bags, we know you do that through the bags, um, like living your purpose. And so uh, where are your bags made? They're made in Oaxaca, in the mountains in the north. And then I have another ladies in the south. And then we finished the bags in Sawayo, Michoacan, and then the little and of the details, we bring it here to the yes. So it, it's, it's everywhere, but pretty much in Mexico. And so who are these women okay. that you're referencing? So I started with two ladies. Uh, they live in the mountains. They're very beautiful. Um, they're indigenous that I really admire and support. Um, they're just amazing people. And now we have more people joining the team and making bags as we keep growing. And now we, it's pretty amazing because now we even have like families doing this. And this is great because we providing them an opportunity for them to grow and take care of their kids and their family. They work from home. So everything is great. That's wonderful. Um, I love that it's creating opportunity and building family legacies. And it's, it's so impactful the work you're, you're doing and bringing these people into as part of your team. And so we're getting a few questions. Um, first one I saw in order is, do you have anything for men? Um, sure, we have some messenger bags. They're coming in a solid color and it's for a laptop. Uh, we are, I'm working and designing a bag for all my cyclist fans. Um, they keep asking for a little bag. And, but yeah, it's, it's a new project that I'm trying to build on the new, future. So yes, I'm keeping the guys in touch to make sure we provide something for them. And I would add that all your products can be for men. Absolutely. Do you have it's 2020. <laughs> <laughs> and so from Robert, uh, what have you learned about yourself in a year? Since it's your one year anniversary, of course. This is Robert Uno. Thank you. <laughs> um, a lot. I have grown a lot. There's times, I'm not going to lie, it's like it's starting something on your own, not even like with your own money. It's, it's tough. And then you learn because you don't have enough money to pay for someone else. So the things that I never thought I could do, I did. And that gave me a lot, a lot of confidence to keep going. And like the little obstacles that I was facing at the beginning, I, there's no obstacles anymore. I just walked through that. And every little thing, like, as you know, what happened this morning with the Ben Bright that they sent, refund the money, canceled the event. That was, it wasn't really a one year anniversary waking up to that news. It was shocking. I was expecting to wake up, have my morning coffee, and then get ready. No, but those things are really building me up to react to, like, Mavis, what's your passion? What's your purpose? Like, it's our one year anniversary. Let's do this. So I think um, all the struggles, all those things are really good. It's just making me become a better person and stronger, and, and it refines, goes back to my purpose in life. We're glad you pushed through and we're, and we're all here despite the Eventbrite uh, hiccup. <laughs> yeah. 
And what are some, I mean, you kind of just touched on it, but just to address the question, what are some highs and lows of your journey so far? Um, the lows was at the beginning. Um, I have to build my own website. I have to do the photography. I have to do the coding. Uh, I have to, I'm, some people don't know, but I'm actually an introvert person. I'm very shy. I know like it doesn't sound like, but I am. So it was, I had to go and do sales, which I'm not good at that, but I had, I had to be good at that. So those are the things like the kind of like the lows that really pushed me. It was pushing me out of my comfort zone completely. The highs was actually one of the best things. It's connecting with people around the world through Mavis by Herrera. That's what's been for me the most rewarding thing, like getting a note from a customer. Um, I had one who actually took the time and sent me a note and she was so thankful. Like those things are like the best thing ever that have happened. So those are the highs, like connecting with more change makers, with beautiful people, who people who believe in this and they're passionate and we both believe and come us together as one to do something positive in this world. That's the best feeling ever. And then we've had two with Lily and Kelly want to know what is your favorite bag and why? Oh, that's hard. Um, I really like the less pollution bag. I don't have it here. <laughs> that the one Laurel has? That's the one the Laurel has. That, because that's the bag that I started. And when I first started, I got a negative feedback about the bag. And it turns out it's one of the best sellers because it's convertible, it holds. Like I tested out that bag and I drove 60 pounds in there. I destroyed the bag. It wasn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that's one of my favorite bags. Also when I travel, I do like my Victoria bag. Um, the one that Claudia Uno won. This one, I love it. I also like the Elysian bag. I mean, I love all the bags. They <laughs> have a meaning. They're so, like, I love them. But yeah, less pollution in Victoria and Viva shoes. And okay, we'll stop there. I, I love the less pollution bag. The future color is amazing. I get so many compliments on it. And it's like, I can, I can like throw it around and it's still, I mean, you guys all find out later. This is not about me, but I just wanted to tell you, I'm a big fan of the less pollution bag. And then um, another question from Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Um, is it, I don't know if it's Valentina. Does a Valentina bag fit a laptop? Valentina. Because she wants to buy them all. <laughs> oh, Valentina is this one. It can fit, uh, if it's a small laptop, it will fit a small laptop. And also comes with a crossbody, um, so you can wear as a crossbody as a handbag. And it comes with a zipper. This one, I actually people were asking for a zipper, um, so this one has a zipper closure and the lighting and everything. Yeah. Oh, and then people who are Zoom savvy are using the Q and A, and so I apologize for just now seeing those. Um, <laughs> So one comment, oh great, this is one of my, so this is something I wanted to ask, so thank you for this anonymous attendee. Okay, love what you're doing to break the cycle by employing indigenous women artisans in Mexico and reusing plastic that is destined for landfill. What should we expect from Mavis by Herrera in the coming year? Stay tuned to the last part and you will see. Suspense, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. How long does it take to design a bag and what does the design process look like from the idea up to shipping to the customer? That's a great question. And I will also share that at the end, uh, but let me explain a little bit. So we use recycled plastic. So it comes from the recycling company and all stars, pretty much the mold of the bag, it's not, it's not textile that you can fold and cut. We have to use a piece of wood, like do the measurements and then shop it and then pretty much make the mold. And then it starts with, okay, like what's the dimensions? We try to use kind of like the same size and just switch it up a little bit. 
um, others, like for example, this one is supposed to be a bucket bag and there's doesn't look a bucket at all. It's a square because um, plastic is really hard to maneuver. Uh, but we get, uh, just to explain a little, um, we get the recycled plastic, so it comes from bottles, everything. We, dis we separate it for the, to get the color, and then we add like just like 2%, 3%, like uh, more color if, we ne if it needs to. Each bag is designed unique, so the gold that you have might not be the same gold as the other bag because uh, everything is recycled, and we mix uh, different types of plastic to come up with the perfect color that we want. And then it comes to, into little strips, and that's what we use. And then we take it to the people, uh, the, it's the indigenous people in Oaxaca. We deliver everything at their house. We give them a week or two weeks. And then they call us and like, hey, the bags are ready. We take it back and then we bring it to Zawayo, Michoacan, where we do the interior, the liner, the, the label, everything. So we're looking at about five, six days per bag. Uh, it's, it's, uh, that's why like, it's like right now I'm out of stock. Uh, it's not an easy process. It takes time. And, but at the end, everything is rewarded and everything is handmade. And that's the process. Like we create opportunities for these people. And not only that, we help them to empower and become better. Uh, we also do upcycle and then everything is recycled. So our job is to turn plastic pollution into beautiful bags. So five to six days per bag is what it takes to make it. These are truly handmade bags that you're buying. Great. Okay, so from Joe Damaso, happy first year anniversary. It's probably how he says it too. Um, where do you go from here? Any big plans for the second to fifth year anniversary? Uh, for second year, absolutely. Uh, we're Mavis Barrera, for sure, we're going to push for brick and mortars. We want to uh, be in museum stores. Uh, there's a couple of surprises. <laughs> so we're working as, as you know, all know, COVID-19 has hit the entire world. So in April, we were going to stop um, Mavis Barrera to be a Balboa Museum Store, San Francisco Museum Store, and Hotel Bell. But unfortunately, COVID-19 stopped. Um, everything shut down. So we're going to get back. It's, it's okay. We already got a yes, so we will continue getting more yeses. I love it. The optimism keeps you driving forward, like you said, over those hurdles that uh, expected and unexpected that pop up. <laughs> um, and so Crystal wants to know, do you have any new products coming out soon? Uh, Yes, I'm working to sign in a wallet for women. Um, so yes, they've been asking for a wallet and I'm also working in designing a, a bag that's it's gonna be pretty cool. This comes with my, it's inspired on my traveling adventures. So it's a mini bag that you can wear as a belt, you can wear as a crossbody, and you can wear as a clutch a knife. So when you're traveling, um, inspired by my adventure travels, uh, Mavis Bayerera, <laughs> So, uh, so you can wear as a bell, go on a hike or something where you or like travel as a tourist, and then it can be a crossbody when you go to the farmer's market in another country or something, and then when you go at night for a nice dinner or something, you can wear it as a little clutch elegant. So yes, it will have three in one. It's coming. I love it. I cannot wait to see it. And the next question goes right into that. So G Ponce. Uh, why not have another Zoom party for future bag and product launches? That would be fun to be the first to see all of the new items. Yes, that's a great idea. Thanks, Grilly. His name is great. I will take that. <laughs> and then Fur, Fur, F-E-R, sorry. <laughs> what has been the most challenging experience during these times of the pandemic and what have you learned? I like these questions, keep coming. Okay, so um, COVID-19 challenge, as like I mentioned before, we were gonna start launching Mavis Barrera in San Francisco Movement Museum, Hotel Dell, and Balboa Museum Store in San Diego. So when everything shut down, that was hard because not only that, um, we're also with the Stellar Core, we're part of the runway to regeneration. We were planning to do a big event in October. So had to, 
cancel everything, put it aside. That was very hard for me because I've been working so hard and it's not only me, I have a team behind me who believe in this and believe in me and I cannot just like stop and let it go. It's not about me, it's about us together. So COVID-19 was hard, but at the same time, it gave me the opportunity to reconnect with my audience to revisit our values, to revisit our direction, where we want to go, and to really push for this. Um, so, so far, like, I'm, I'm happy to be here and celebrating. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> and uh, we have more questions, which I'm so excited about. And we're still on schedule. So if you have any more, please um, feel free to type in. So this is an anonymous attendee, um, but what, is the meaning of the, or what are the meanings I should say of the bags names okay um the bag names okay not mommy's by Herrera right it's perfect um there's <laughs> <laughs> so I mean they all have a specific meaning um for example Victoria means like the victory that is inside of you bring it out because you're all already a victorious person so don't be ashamed bring your victory out uh, less pollution back it started that was our first design our first back that one started with less just less pollution uh, just because our values is to reduce plastic pollution and reduce the co2 emissions in the, on earth and take care of nature so less pollution became the name um vivacious means like a vivid like a beautiful life like why not like let's have uh, the best life as you as, as you can you know Let's enjoy life, bring out the best in it. Even if you're having a bad day, there's gonna be something beautiful to enjoy that day. So they all have a different minutes. If you go on my website, you click kind of like shares a little bit detail. And I'm gonna start adding um, a little note, what's the meaning of your bag? <laughs> Aw, that's great. I know, I, I love that you're doing that because you, you're so intentional and purposeful with your brand. And I think it's so great for your change makers to know the stories behind that. So that will be so great to have that as some of us who give them as gifts to have that note about the, the meaning of the name behind the bags. Um, so Luis, uh, he's thirsty for some male products, I guess uh, I would describe him as. And so one, are you planning to do wallets for men and do you plan to do ties? Wallets, yes. I keep asking the guy, guys, when they ask me for wallets, I'm like, okay, take out your wallet. And they take it out. <laughs> and it's like, okay, when was the your last money? time you purchased one? They're like, oh, it's, I have mine for five, six years. I'm like, yes. <laughs> but no, eventually, yes. I'm planning to actually belts. I'm planning to do belts, not just for men's, but also for women's. Uh, maybe I will get for little dogs as well, because I'm a dog lover. So why not? Um, yes, yeah, so there's there's a lot of ideas coming, um, but for now we're sticking to the handbags and the bags. All right, and Luis also wants to know: Will you try to open boutiques in Mexico? Hey, Luis is, is from Mexico, so connect me, and definitely I will be in. Whoever say yes, Mavis Barrera, I will be there. Why not? <laughs> Great. And so for. Um, Next question, Carito, what is your advice on being an entrepreneur? What would you say to yourself a year ago? I will still say, go for it, jump. Um, and my advice is being an entrepreneur, passion over money, definitely. Because there are gonna be days, nights, that you're gonna be really working 12, 14, 16 hours, non-sleep, uh, there are going to be a lot of challenge rejections, but if you have a passion for it and you believe what you're doing and it has a purpose, no one can stop you. So when you go purpose over money, you go for it. You jump. <laughs> Wonderful advice. And Crit, Crit, I'm so sorry. I'm probably saying these names wrong. Um, <laughs> what is it? Crit wit. <laughs> Crit wit? Okay, that's what, I, that's what I thought. Never mind, I'm doing great. Okay, what was the moment that caused you to choose elegant bags as the premier items for Mavis Ferreira? 
elegant bags, it's like, instead of premier, I don't like premier first. I just don't like it. I don't feel it. Elegant, it's like that elegant, that essence of life, of nature. It combines like your soul, like everything. So everything is beautiful and elegant. And the way I see life and people, like people are so beautiful in their own soul. Doesn't matter if you have done good or bad. I still believe that people are beautiful in their soul and and it's elegant and it's so beautiful. And then once you connect it with nature, that's the elegance of life. So that's why it's elegant bags. Great. And um, straying off the bag topic for a moment, we know you have another endeavor you're working on, um, a give back program called Choose for Stars. Can you give us an overview of that? Yes, Choose for Stars, it's, it's something that it started when I was back in college. I really like to advocate for kids in need. I want every kid to know that they matter in this world and whatever they dream and they believe they want to do, they're going to do it. And that no adults, no one else can take, out, take away their dream. Um, so what I start doing is like collecting a pair of shoes, a canvas, and then we paint the shoes. And then we ask, uh, we invite the community to paint the shoes. And then we let them know that this shoes is going for another kid in another part of the world and they can send a message. But we never ask them what message or what to paint. So it's very beautiful how inspiring this creative these kids are and they paint it and it comes with the family. And so once we get the shoes, we pick a destination where we donate the shoes and we get around in a circle and we hold hands and we ask, okay, what's your dream? And you can share and they start screaming, I wanna be a doctor, I wanna do be a sport, I wanna do this. And, and we're like, you're gonna be that, you're gonna be that. And then we ask everyone to close their, their eyes. And I say, your dream, you're gonna put whatever you wanna be, you're gonna put it inside your heart. And now we're gonna lock it. And guess what? It's safe. No one can take this away from you. And you matter and we care for you and we love you and we believe in you and someone from another part of the world believes in you and this is why you're getting a pair of shoes. So that's the message behind Shoes for Star is pretty much spreading love around the world, connecting multicultural. It's like, um, I don't have kids on my own, but I did grow up um, in San Quintin where I used to take out my shoes and then go play with the little kids and and my nanny used to chase me and my mom used to be so mad because I would take my shoes all the time, be barefoot. And I, and it's because with the kids that I was playing, which they were very poor, their parents didn't have money to buy them shoes, so they were barefoot. And, and that's, I didn't understand. But then when I grew up, I was like, oh, that's why. And I used to take off my shoes because I wanted to be part of them so they didn't reject me because I had shoes. So I wanted to be, and I told myself, I promise I will do something about it. And, and I did. So as long as this COVID-19 starts coming or something, trust me, Choose for Stars is coming back. And part of the Bax purchase, it goes for that program, Choose for Stars. I'm going to cut off questions now because now I am over time, but I still want to give everyone a chance to ask their questions and um, have a visa. Uh, speak to the change makers and all the people here in the community that have supported her so much. So uh, from Luis, what has been the biggest satisfaction of this journey of yours? Um, connecting with people, creating change. Uh, pretty much, I will say connecting with people, all the beautiful, I don't call them customer, my change makers, my role models. Um, it has been very rewarding um, getting to know them and believing in us and making definitely Mavis by Herrera a better tomorrow. And Crit Wit is uh, rewarding the question from earlier about the Premier and Elegant Bag says, why purses and bags and not something else that could come from recycled materials? So when I first graduated, my first job was in the fashion industry. The fashion industry is the number top five, it's actually the number three most polluted uh, industry. And that's why I choose bags because I needed to jump back on the fashion industry to show that you can make a product made of recycled and upcycled material and be sustainable and be, still be elegant. That's why. 
All right. And then the last question from the crowd, and then we get it in on our final question. Um, <laughs> so two more. So how many times, so from Louise, so again, how many times have you faced the feeling of dropping the towel during this journey and how have you overcome it? P.S. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Um, I guess the first one was two months when I started. I Building a website was very stressful. It was very stressful. So that was my first one. But then I was not willing to, to invest like you know, like it's expensive for someone to build your own website and I didn't have the money. I was like, you can't invest all this money here, right? Invest it in production. So making decisions, um, but that was one. But then after that, I talked to one of my good friends. Her name is Aide, actually, she's from Guadalajara. And she told me like, Mavis, you're gonna pass that stage that things are not gonna be an obstacle anymore. You're gonna be like, how I'm gonna solve this? And she literally changed my attitude that day. She did. So obstacles, like it happened this morning? No, we're gonna throw a party. <laughs> There's no more obstacles. There's a solution. So no, no need to worry. Yeah, that, that is such a mindset you have to have is, is there's always a solution. So we actually had one other question from Kelly, but it happened to be our last question. So I ignored it, um, but now I'm coming back to it. So besides telling people about you and your mission and your products, how can we support you? Um, well, I always say support like entrepreneurs, uh, brands that are, we're starting. When you share, um, our mission, when you share who we are, what we do, that's very helpful for us. So you can support me just um, just by sharing our story or what we do, pretty much who we are, like why do we exist. Um, I always say, hey, on the website, there's a section where you can have um, send a message. Just send a message, just say hi, it's good. I like, I really enjoy and I do respond back. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thanks for answering all those questions on the fly and giving us all more insight to where you're at and your brand and who you are. And we're, again, we're all happy and proud to be here to, to show our support along your journey. And uh, that being said, I, I, but I, I do think everyone's ready for some more prizes. Yes. Woo! Let's do another rumble. Ooh. Okay. What should we pick? Ooh, let's do this one. So, oh, I want it. Ooh. This is for all you, my friends, who are working from home and need to get back to the office soon, or maybe not. This fits your laptop, or if you're going to go back to school, or just want to go work in the park or something. If it's your laptop, this is our messenger bag. It's a crossbody. And this was actually called the Coronado Collection. And the, the best part about why is that it's very easy to clean. So this one goes. I have to do this, this one. <laughs> okay. Lily Castañeda, she's from San Diego. <laughs> Yay. So this one's gone. Let's do this one. This one is actually a backpack. Um, it was one of my first designs. Um, so let's I want it. <laughs> I just want to, I want them all, but that one. Oh. <laughs> and it's only one of a kind, Laurel. <laughs> the only one in the world. Ah, uh, like you, Mubbies. <laughs> Sasha West. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh. Oh, that's going to look so good. Oh. That's such a Sasha bag, too. Oh, Sasha, Sasha. <laughs> Let's do another t-shirt. Where's our levy music? Let's play some. Here. Yeah, levy. Play some background music if you can. Okay. Well. Or if it's too little. This is from Katrina for Gaul. She got a t-shirt and she's from Elisa Viejo. All right. Oh, Catherine. 
Yeah, Katrin forgot. Yay! Okay, the next one. I don't have something, but let's use this. This is gonna be a $50 gift card for Mavis by Herrera. All right! It's from Maria from Chico, California. Woo! I will throw it here. Unless you want less and more. 50 bucks. Which one? Do. Which one? <gasps> Ooh. Let's see this one. This is a mm. Tulum palm leaf clutch. Um, it's very elegant. This is one of a kind. This is uh, from Palm Leaves. Uh, it's perfect for summer. And the inside, I just, I love this. This is one of my favorite clutches. Oh my goodness. It's called Tulum because it reminds me of my mini getaways in Tulum, Mexico. <laughs> Got a winner! Kate from San Diego. Oh, Kate from San Diego. Thanks. Yes. Okay, enough for right now. Let's get the party going. Yeah. Let's keep it going. So, Next, certainly but not least, you've seen her face before, but now we're going to see her doll it up. It's Carla with Karemi Cosmetics. We're, she's going to give us a glow up and a makeup demonstration. She's another beautiful woman who has blessed us with her gifts. She created Karma Karemi Cosmetics to promote the safety and beauty and the needs of today's women. A high-end cosmetics brand that is top quality in its ingredients and affordable for everyone. Her products are designed for the modern virtuous woman. I don't know if that includes all of you, but I feel like it, it should. <laughs> she wants to be able to enable your creativity, and improvise your beauty needs with a single product that is made to do multiple things. All of her products are versatile like this, and she's gonna show you. I'm so excited. She keeps it classy, she keeps it elegant, always chic, always healthy, and never tested on animals. She's making a positive impact on our society and our environment. She's a virtuous woman like Mavis, and we are here to welcome you Carla. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. That was great. Everyone, my name is Carla Capel, founder of Karemi Cosmetics, as you heard. And I just want to say, Mavis, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing because it's people like you that actually make a change in this world. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. So you keep doing what you're doing, Missy. And remember, a virtuous woman is hard to find. So Live to be the exception, just like you're doing now. And now for the fun part. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and show you really quick how to transition from a corporate chick to a glam diva in less than probably two minutes. So basically, you know, you're at your corporate job, whatever. You have a happy hour, whatever it is. And you don't have time to go get ready or dolled up, like they said. So what you do... I'm just going to grab these two. I'm going to show you. These are two of our products. This is Classy, my all-time favorite Classy, and this is Stiletto. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab Stiletto like this. Grab a little brush. Remember, you have to always have your little brushes. Grab just a little bit of this. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply on your eyes. Just a little bit. These products are actually versatile, just like you heard, look at that. And we just grab a little bit because as you can see, they're highly, highly pigmented. With your little brush, just add some of this gold glittery on top of your mobile lid. And then we're just going to switch the lip color with our Classy.
It looks so good. I am impressed with everything that's happening right now. I don't know if you noticed, but I did not have to keep on, you know, putting the wand into the product because I don't need much um, product or double applications. With one application is more than enough. They are highly pigmented, as you can see, and voila, you turn from corporate chick to a glam diva. Let's just get our little hair down here just to make it more exciting, more fun. <laughs> and last thing you want to do, grab your clutch from Mavis Vallarera to complement your look and you're all done. And that is it, you guys. Let's keep on having fun at this party and Luck to everyone with the raffles. I haven't won yet, but I'm hoping. <laughs> and now we're going to pass it to a stellar co. And Mavis, thank you again for being such a wonderful person. Keep doing what you're doing. Bye. You are beautiful. I highly recommend everyone gets one of those tubes for cheeks, for eyes, <sighs> lips. Put it in your Mavis bag and go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we love having yes. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the, the best endorsement um, is you'll look like Carla. But, so <laughs> buy Kremi Cosmetics and I uh, think we'll all be set. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm wearing right now Kremi Cosmetics. Uh, I love her lip gloss. I mean, they're amazing. Thank you, Carla. I really love your makeup. Um, and now, Let's go to the party. So let me introduce you to an amazing artist. They're called Uno Sound. They're here from San Diego and they're gonna ready to party and they're gonna surprise us. Uno Sound, welcome. What's up everyone, Uno Sound here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks Mavis for inviting us and congratulations on one year. We're super excited to be performing our next hit, Keeping Me From You. It's a Friday night, the sun is down, got drinks in my rotation And I'm trying to find someone around who's worth my time and patience And it's just my luck you're in the same situation Baby, tell me, do you feel the same? Cause I love the way you look tonight You know you're just my type Tonight will be enough for me to prove we were meant to be in love. Girl, me and you. You look like the type I don't like to lose. Need to find the words to say it. Can't you see that I'm frustrated? Something's keeping me from you. Something's keeping me from you. From your friends, girl, you're feeling my obsession I've been buying around, say dreaming of you Coming in my direction Looks you're giving, I can tell what you're thinking Baby, just come here and say it She said, party, we came to party And I'm not leaving less, I know you really want me Shawty, I know that you want me If you tryna party, we can take it home Cause I love the way you look tonight You know you're just my type I love the way you look tonight And I wanna make you mine I hope tonight will be enough For me to prove we were meant to be in love Girl, me and you like the type I don't like to lose Need to find the words to say it Can't you see that I'm frustrated? Night will be enough for me to prove We were meant to be in love Girl, me and you You look like the type I don't like to lose Need 
to find the words to say it Can't you see that I'm frustrated? Something's keeping me from you Something's keeping me from you Thank you guys so much. Thank you for listening. Wow, Uno Sound, thank you so much. They, this guys, they make their own lyrics, they create their own music. They kind of, they have some amazing songs that makes me want to go find a boyfriend and fall in love again, but no, thank you. <laughs> so, let's do another raffle. This is our third raffle. We have one more. All right, so another whoopsie, $50 gift card, okay? Right, fingers crossed for Carla. Carla wants a bag. Dun, 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 dun. Should we pick the first one? Second, third? Second. We have Cheryl Prairie from Virginia. Oh. Congrats, Cheryl. Virginia. Virginia. Coast to coast. Absolutely. I will go and deliver myself. I need a vacation. <laughs> okay, let's do another t shirt. And this one goes for. Where's Levy? Oh, yeah. Lily Castañeda. She gets another t shirt. Congrats, Lily. Lily's winning all. I know. Let's do another messenger pack of the Coronado Ooh. collection. I don't want to see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so honest. Oh, Michelle, too, from Oceanside. She's amazing. Michelle, Michelle. congrats. God. Okay, we'll Yay! And let's do another pack. Why not? Yes. <laughs> Carla. 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 But uh, we got a winner, Brian Jackson from Ooh. San Diego. <laughs> You see, Either. Brian is a guy and he's going to rock this Mavis by Herrera messenger bag. So guys, you can also purchase one of this and there's one of a kind. We recommend buying it. We have bought messenger bags for people that have helped us in our business as a thank you gift. People that have graduated. It's a great graduation gift. Yes. So that's it for now. We have one more raffle. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Great. Well, I, the next up, we are going to play a video. We're so excited. We're going to see all of the bags that she has to offer after this bid. Okay, it's going. Hi, Mavis. I just wanted to say congratulations on your first year of business. I love my bag. Congratulations, Mavis, on your one year anniversary. Congratulations on your one year anniversary, Mavis. I am so excited for what is to come in the future for your company because you've done so much to help empower women and make these beautiful luxury, sustainable handbags that we can hold onto your hands and feel proud of what you have accomplished and achieved and how much you've helped a woman, those, especially those women in the mountain. You are such an inspiration for us all. I am so honored to have you on the Unleash Your Fire podcast show and I'm so, glad that we can actually help spread your story out there. It's such an inspirational, amazing story that more people need to hear about you. You've done so much. You, you work so hard. You deserve all the success. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you, Mavis, for the continuous raffles and unending prizes. You're so generous. And yeah, we just also want to say thank you to Uno Sound. It's so great. Uh, you can get them on Spotify and Apple. They are from San Diego, um, but they're also by Coastal right now. So local band spread out a little bit. And now we are, it's time. We're ready <laughs> for the runway. Uh, while Levy's beats drop, we shop. 
<laughs> my piece better of handbags uh, will be showcased well, with all their conscious features. My all right, Levy. Let's bring it. And Levy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Listen, we'll enjoy the, oop, oh, there she is. We have my piece, uh, designer of the handbags, <laughs> woman of the hour, change maker of the hour. Ladies, are you ready? We're ready. We're ready. Three, two, one. Woo! Look at this runway. Oh, what do we have up first? Looks to be one of the handmade bags. Oh, a clutch. Oh my gosh. Also, an over the shoulder. Looks like it could be a crossbody as well. Convertible. Convertible. Good for a night out with friends. It only takes five days to make that bag. Oop. Here we go. Oh, that looks like the perfect beach bag. Have a long maxi dress, big hat, carry that around. People will be like, who's that gal? Or oh, guy, whatever. <laughs> and an evening bag too. Ooh, there she is, and a dog. Look at that fun pattern. Spring, I'm that looks very uh, like kind of New Englandish, I think. A little East Coast vibe. So maritime. Beach vibe. All the bags, again, they're all water resistant. So great for the beach, great for some uh, sloppy nights out. Um, <laughs> recycled plastic, sustainable. Fuchsia. Oh, it's so good with the stripes. Get these bright bags to add some accent and a pop of color to your life. If you're like me and wear gray and black, these are great bags to come out and make a statement. Over the shoulder, that's what you want. You can have a clutch over the shoulder. These clearly hold your giant iPhones, your Karimi Cosmetics. Oh, look at this oval bag, woven, very on trend, very classy with that long leather strap and the tassel for the extra zhuzh. Ooh, crossbody for the win. One of a so kind. Uh, Michelle, you definitely need that for Aspen. <laughs> oh, there she is. Zero waste bag. Oh, I love it. Convertible. Look at that. Black. Oh, girl. Open oh, it. Oh, you can up. wear it with black and brown. Oh, it expands. You can definitely fit a laptop in that. First thing I thought of aside from laptop was food and beverage. All in one bag. Water bottles, too. These bags are great for reusable water bottles because they're water resistant. And we all know we hate plastic waste. There she oh, is. Oh, look at that clutch. Oh, this is, oh yes, this is great for a cosmetic bag. So for Creamy Cosmetics where you want to store it because the inside is really easy to clean out. So great also for traveling, fun. toiletries. And bikinis, wet bikinis, wet swimsuits, pile right. them in. Patty, the list of must-haves, you're right. Um, I don't want to play favorites, but if I was, this would be one. I love the white messenger bag. It's so classy and fun and different. Zips, so you don't have to worry about things getting inside of it if you're carrying a laptop in there, electronics. I love a good crossbody. Uh, must-haves. The list of must-haves get longer. You're right, How about these bag models? They're doing a great job highlighting all the features. The ladies are bringing it. Ooh, another messenger bag. Adjustable strap. Beautiful blue azul color. Look at that. I love the strap. Crossbody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big I enough love a crossbody. Each of these bags reduces our footprint on the environment and makes us look cute. Another beautiful bag. Chain strap with leather, it looks like. Oh, a snap. Closure, which I love. I'm, you know what? I'm not a zipper gal. That's okay. Oh, and, and it's woven in between the chain. That's so beautiful. Black plastic bag. Go anywhere. These bags are conversation pieces. People are going to ask you about them, and you can say with pride that they're sustainable, handmade, hand woven in Oaxaca, designed by a female business owner from San Diego. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that print. That's very classy. A tan and kind of white gives a sheen. Of course, we knew there was a strap in there. Convertible. It's a way to go. The only way to go, some would say. 
These are ethical Can't wait for th- made with love. Yeah, Ooh. made with love and purpose. I white. Really- I'm a big fan of these white bags. This is so good for like resort chic. You're going. Yes, on- it's such a classy look with a tan accent. I love it. And the label too. I think we haven't said that the label is uh, recycled as well. The whole bags are made from recycled material, so you can rest in peace. And you know, we all know we have a million options when we shop. And so when you become a conscious consumer and shop with a purpose, you're voting with your dollars to go to somewhere to help be a change maker. You're transforming people's lives by buying these bags and you're adding that little pep in your step. Fits your lip gloss, your creamy lip gloss, your phone, a little dish, facial spray, and the woman behind it all. That was the last one. I hope you really enjoy our little, and I want to thank you, Gato and Fernanda, for helping me just collaborate. Thanks, guys. There's my ladies. ladies. Come on. <laughs> They're a little bit shy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so awesome. <laughs> Great job. They're beautiful. <laughs> They're not models. They're role models. <laughs> trying to be oh. models. <laughs> You are. You are models in every way. Model citizens, model women. You got it. Thanks, guys. Back to you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm just like really enjoying myself. And it's, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, we've been having a few sips here and there. Now is the time to bring out your glasses, because we're gonna give a toast that is hosted by one of Mavisa's mentors and well-respected friends. Robert Uno, please join us, and everyone raise your glasses. First of all, I wanna thank you, Mavis, for giving me the opportunity uh, to, to give the toast. For me, you know, it's the best job that anybody can have for me to hold that glass, especially during this time of Corona. So uh, the one thing that I have to say is during all this time that I learned you're an introvert, come on. I will not have believed that at all. That has to be that has to be a, a mistake there because there's no way. So you know what, you were giving me this opportunity for me to uh, uh, post. I wanted to understand what we celebrate, right? And uh, especially around the world. And it was very interesting because uh, I found certain things that are very, very neat that people celebrate. For example, in uh, Thailand, there is a Ginkan Lantern Festival that's every year. Actually, it's coming up. It's, you got about two years wait for you to be able to, to get into it. It's a very big celebration. I'm sure it's going to be the same way for you once we... Uh, in a couple of years, it's going to be very hard for us to go into your shows because they're going to sold out very quickly. The other one, you know, that I found out that I found interesting is in Hindu, is the Holi Festival. That was uh, me and uh, Claudia was part of one of those, where you throw a lot of uh, a lot of colors and you put colors all over you. So imagine me, my face looking like a rainbow. That's what I ended up looking like. So on that one, you're actually celebrate because you're conquering evil in the arrival of spring. So I thought it was very neat celebration. Another one that you, you and I know very well, you know, is Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. You know, where we celebrate our, our relatives that have passed away and we celebrate them in a good way. You know, and one of my favorites that I hope to make it one day is the La Tomatina in Valencia where you just throw tomatoes to somebody just for the hell of it. Now that's one that I would like to go to, you know, besides the one that I'm here. But, you know, the other thing is, so I started thinking about it and I thought, well, let me ask my family what they, what they celebrate, right? And how they celebrate. And here's some of the things that I got from them, right? You know, one of the things that I say is we celebrate for doing. Things that we do because a lot of the times it's very hard to do something. Another thing that I got is we celebrate for taking a leap because it's very hard to do. I still remember when you came to me and you told me you were gonna leave the job 
a corporate job to be exact, such a great corporate job. And I thought she's gotta be crazy. But then you told me your story and I thought she's not crazy. Actually, I'm crazy for staying behind. It's basically the way that I thought, you know, in terms of that. So we're gonna celebrate the fact that you have taken the leap. And here you are a year later. The other one that I, uh, that I found very good is uh, one of my sons said, celebrate something when something good happens. You know, this is a really good thing, the fact that you brought us all together and the fact that we're here celebrating you. And I say good because here you are a year later, much better than you were before, much better, less scared. And I can see the confidence on you from a year ago when you first started this crazy thing. And yes, I remember also you building your website. I saw how scary you were. And you come in and ask me for help. And you got no help from me because I'm the least creative guy in this world that you could probably ask for. But you still ask, no matter what. Which, that's why I couldn't understand how introvert you said you are, because there's no way in hell, you know, that I believe that. But the one thing, you know, I asked my wife and I said, how do you celebrate? And she said, with music and a drink. And, you know, I think that's what all we got to do, guys, is we got to celebrate. We got to celebrate my, my, Mavis by Herrera. It celebrate the success, the accomplishments, and most of all, the growth that she has had over a year. I can't imagine what's going to happen in two or three. So cheers to you, change maker, that you're doing it one person at a time. Salud. Thank you so much, Robert. Um, since I started my year journey, since we met, you have been my mentor. You have got me. And even this morning, I call you. I was like, this is a 9-11. And you really inspired me to continue. So thank you so much. Uh, Robert Uno, it has been my mentor. He has supported me, uh, provided me great guidance, and I'm so thankful. He's the one who could pretty much say jump. And I was like, wait, wait a second, I'm not ready. He's like, jump. And then I went to him one day and I say, I did it. I already jumped. I'll, I'm leaving in two weeks. Peace out. <laughs> And that's how I started. So thank you so much, Robert. Thank you for being in my life. And it's a blast meeting you, your wife, your kids. I just very grateful and thankful. Thank you. So now let's go to our last raffle. Well, let me take another sip. Okay, where's Levy? I want Levy music. All right, let's do, this is gonna be $50 gift card because I already used the glass. <laughs> From New York, para Skevi Genutos. Probably I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm sorry, but she's an amazing lady. So here you go, fifty dollars gift card uh, for Maris La Herrera. Now let's do our Valentina bag. This one, this is one of the new design. Oh, it's so cute. And it comes with the strap. I don't have it here, but I will come with the strap. <laughs> so let's do this. This is Mirena Casino from mom. San Diego. Oh, oh you're mom. mom. Mom, you want a purse? <laughs> Let's go for Mirena. Beautiful. Oh, it's our last raffle. Let's raffle everything. Okay, I'm gonna go fast. <laughs> this was my biggest headache, but I love her so much. So comes in blue, and it has a little strap. All right. The winner is away. Ah, Crystal Bank. Congratulations, Crystal from San Diego. Yay, you wanted one so bad. She's been commenting. <laughs> I see the t shirt. 
<laughs> Una bolsa para México. Relly Ponce, you got a t-shirt. This is a from San Diego. Let's do our last one, guys. Okay, let's say, okay, for this one, should we take five off, three, and then make the winner number four? Yes. Okay. First one is not going to be a winner. The third one will. Come on. Michelle, two, out. Oh. Aww. Right. Michelle went earlier, though, so that's okay. That's Michelle from Ocean Side. Yeah, she wants some business. <laughs> Gabriela Gonzalez from San Diego. You're out. <laughs> oh. All right, all right, all right. That hurts. Winner, we have a winner. <gasps> Laurel Lee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. I'm so selfish. But <laughs> I want that bag so bad. <laughs> oh. I'm just putting that out there since you already have so many. I just wanted to, to tell you we're so glad to have <laughs> <laughs> she can fit in it. Yeah. So I have let's do let's do three more. But this comes yeah. from a designer from Mexico. Um it's not Mavis Barrera, but I would like to raffle this. So this is um the little hat. I love it. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Look okay. at the first one. Oh my, we're running behind time. So, this is Priscilla Suarez from San Diego. Woo -hoo! Priscilla, you won. All right, guys, so now I'm going to take it for a video surprise that I will share with you. Um, and let's get this party going. So let me share my screen. So I want to share this uh, video. It's Mavis Barrera. It kind of brings a summary of our one year. So I hope you enjoy it. Mavis Barrera one year what I hope you were able to appreciate um, what we have done in one year I want to thank you so much uh, Mavis Barrera exists not because of me it's because of you because together we're becoming one to continue to evolve to create meaningful impact and continue changing this world so it's been a year, an incredible year, a challenging year, but I have no regrets. And if someone will ask me if I would do it again, yes. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> um, so I'm very excited for the next year. 
we partner with this nonprofit organization, which has always been my dream to pass my knowledge and in, inspire and empower. So we're going to start supporting entrepreneur women in developing countries uh, by providing uh, a loan. So part of the money from the banks is going to go to them, where we're going to empower them. I will connect with them, have business meetings, and help them on their business journey and help them to succeed to evolve. Because for me, nothing makes me so happy than to see someone grow. And I can't wait for this. It's gonna be amazing. Um, also, we can start doing Choose for Stars. And yes, we will continue to evolve. And at the end, Mavis by Herrera exists because all of you. And with all my heart, thank you for coming to my one year anniversary party. This event, it's for all of you and I appreciate it. And I have no idea how much thankful and happy I am. It has been an incredible year and I love you all. Thank you so much. So cheers for another year. And thanks everyone. I hope you have a good night and a good event. Uh, for the ones who purchased the role model, the change maker tickets, I'm sorry for Eventbrite. Trust me, I wasn't expecting that, but I will send you an email uh, where to ship your address. And thank you, thank you, thank you with all my heart. Let's continue to create good, and you all are change makers. And I'm so blessed to have you in my life. Thank you. Bye.